Donald Ray Atkinson, 1940-2008 Donald Ray Atkinson was an American counseling psychologist who was known for his extensive work in multicultural counseling psychology. His notable and numerous contributions to the field of multicultural counseling brought him considerable professional recognition. Atkinson was born in Union City, Indiana on February 10, 1940. Atkinson spent his childhood in poverty in the Midwestern United States, first in Indiana and then in Barbu, Wisconsin. Atkinson was diagnosed with rheumatic fever when he was 15 years old. His only sibling died at an early age from cerebral palsy. After graduating from high school, he also served in the U.S. Navy for two years. After serving in the U.S. Navy, Atkinson moved on to college where he received bachelor's degree in teaching education in 1964. He continued his education at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee and received his master's degree in 1966 in guidance and counseling. During his master's degree, for a short period of time, he worked as a teacher at a small high school. Also, he later became a guidance counselor at his old high school in Baraboo, Wisconsin. Eventually, Atkinson moved on to pursue his doctorate at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in 1968, where he studied under Marsh Sanborn. Following a brief work at a college counseling center at Moorhead State College, Minnesota, Atkinson moved to the University of California, Santa Barbara in 1972 to become an assistant professor in the counseling psychology program. He was the third faculty member in the counseling psychology program at UCSB. He worked as an assistant dean of the Department of Education from 1975 to 1979 and a director of training for counseling psychology program for 10 years from 1979 to 1989. He contributed to make UCSB one of the most prominent training grounds for multicultural counseling psychology. He contributed to make UCSB appear among the highest ranked institutions in Journal of Counseling Psychology publications. He was ranked among scholars contributing to the literature on multicultural counseling competencies, empirical research. He also contributed to the Journal of Multicultural Counseling and Development from 1985 to 1999. Furthermore, he was top-ranked contributor of racial ethnic minority research in Journal of Counseling Psychology from 1988 to 1997. Throughout his career, Atkinson has been determined to provide opportunities rather than despair, freedom rather than oppression, and safety rather than fear. After contributing greatly on the field of counseling psychology, he died on January 11, 2008, from pancreatic cancer. Throughout his career, he published 109 peer-reviewed journal articles, three books, and 15 book chapters. He achieved fellow status in the Society of Counseling Psychology, the Society for the Psychological Study of Ethnic Minority Issues, and the American Psychological Society. In 2000, he was recognized in a Division 17 symposium at the annual APA convention as one of the multicultural scholars of the millennium. He was recognized in 2001 for his distinguished career contributions to research by Division 45. And in 2005, he was given a Presidential Citation and Elder Recognition Medal at the National Multicultural Conference in Sydney. In 2006, Atkinson was honored with the Leona Tyler Award by the Society of Counseling Psychology, the Society's highest form of recognition. Atkinson's major contributions were in the area of multicultural counseling. His earlier work included a combination of topics such as behavior modification, student personnel services, and counselor training. However, after 19, 
1983, the majority of his scholarship began to focus on multicultural issues. He also put emphasis on training doctoral students in multicultural counseling and actively tried to recruit women and students of color into the doctoral training program at UCSB. And he actually mentored a large number of doctoral students from underrepresented groups into the field of counseling psychology. Examples of the devices are Bruce Wempold, Michael Forlong, Ruth Kim Chung, Cindy Juden, Linda Matthews, Susanna Lowy, Brian Kim. Beyond his own professional achievement, Atkinson has been known to express his greatest pride in the accomplishments of these students. Major publications are as follow. In 1983, Atkinson published one of his most frequently cited articles in the Counseling Psychologist, Ethnic Similarity in Counseling. In 1993, Atkinson published a three-dimensional model for counseling racial ethnic minorities, one of only a few major theories of multicultural counseling. Across time, Atkinson's focus within multicultural counseling began to broaden to diversity issues beyond race and ethnicity. This trend was most noticeable in the publication of his two books. First book is Counseling American Minorities, which focused on race and ethnicity. And the second book is Counseling Diverse Populations, which focused on gender, sexual orientation, aging, and disability. In this way, Atkinson became one of very few scholars in the field to produce such a broad area of works that exemplify the true meaning of multiculturalism. Here is some summary of Atkinson's research contributions. One of Atkinson's most frequently cited articles in The Counseling Psychologist, Ethnic Similarity in Counseling Psychology, introduces concepts of intercultural proponents and cross-cultural proponents in multicultural counseling. He talks about how some counselors who are ethnically similar to their clients can be more effective, while other counselors can transcend cultural differences. Main study results of ethnic similarity and counseling effectiveness offered little support for the superiority of ethnically similar diets. In the article, a three-dimensional model for counseling racial ethnic minorities. Atkinson introduced three factors that should be considered in multicultural counseling, which are client's level of acculturation, the locus of the problem's etiology, and the goals of helping. Each of these factors is examined in a three-dimensional model for identifying appropriate counseling roles and strategies when working with on racial ethnic minority client is presented. Also, eight roles of counselor associated with the intersection of the three continua extremes are discussed. The eight roles are advisor, advocate, facilitator of indigenous support systems, facilitator of indigenous healing systems, consultant, change agent, counselor, and psychotherapist roles. Considering all the contributions and dedications Atkinson made on multicultural counseling psychology, he truly deserves to be recognized as a pioneer in the area of multicultural counseling psychology.